But we're going to turn now to the attack at Fort Hood. Authorities are actively investigating whether suspected gunman Major Nadal Malik Hassan had links to any terrorist organizations. Our chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross has learned that Hassan was most likely trying to just do that, forge that kind of link. Indeed, Robin, as Major Hassan's uh, road to increased radicalization becomes clear, ABC News has learned that U.S. intelligence agencies became aware months ago that he was attempting to make contact with people connected to al-Qaeda. Two American officials who have been briefed on classified information say it's not known whether the military was ever told by the CIA or others that one of its majors was making efforts to communicate with figures under electronic surveillance by the U.S. Congress has now asked the CIA and other intelligence agencies to preserve all documents that relate to Hassan, as it appears a full investigation is now likely into whether the warning signs were missed. Officials say they suspect Hassan was in contact with the former imam of a mosque in Falls Church, Virginia, who now operates out of Yemen. Anwar al laki an American, runs an English-language website that advocates worldwide jihad and overnight called Major Hassan a hero and a man of conscience who did the right thing. Awaki left for Yemen after he came out of an investigation by the FBI for his ties to two of the 9-11 hijackers. He denied any involvement in their plot, but continues to urge violence against the U.S. We also heard this weekend from one of the Army doctors who studied with Hassan, Dr. Val Fennell, who says he complained to his superiors about Hassan and his strident views on the war and religion. He would frequently say that he was a Muslim first and an American second. And that came out in just about everything that he did at the university. And uh, we questioned how somebody could take an oath of office, be an officer in the military, and swear allegiance to the Constitution, and to defend America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and, and have that type of conflict. Shortly after that, Hassan was promoted to major and scheduled to be deployed to Afghanistan. But in the military is being very cautious, worried about any possible backlash. This is, seems to be a lone wolf with serious emotional troubles. All right, Brian, thank you for your investigation.